Today, I'll show you how to do your crypto taxes with the Rock Trading Platform. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're talking about the Rock Trading Platform, not Dwayne Johnson Rock, but the Rock Trading Platform. So quickly, I'll tell you a little bit about this exchange, then I'll jump into how to integrate it with Coinly. And then lastly, I'll show you how to get the necessary tax documentation. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, I'll leave a bunch of different resources for you to look at. But yeah, without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So this platform is one of the oldest um, crypto platforms out there, founded all the way back in 2010. That seems like a long, long time ago. Currently, it's based out of Milan. It is a top 100 exchange by trading volume. They do have a variety of features, nothing too crazy here. So fast trading, um, spot trading, holding options, but you won't get too many different varieties in the feature department. They do have quite a bit of different fiat and cryptocurrencies offering, but in terms of feature sets, not very much going on here. But yeah, let's now jump into the integration part of the video. Alrighty, so first step, as always, log into your Coinly account. If you don't have one, you can make one. It's completely free. Head over into the wallet section and then click on add wallet. From here, we're gonna click or we're gonna type in the rock and it should be this one with a very cool logo. So we have two different options. We have the API option and the CSV file route option. I will show you both. Let's start off with the setup auto sync. So we're gonna need the API key and the API secret. So on their website, in the top right corner, um, under your account, you're gonna click on settings, and then you're gonna click on API key, and here you'll be able to request an API key. Uh, unfortunately, you can't see it on this account, but not really a big problem. I can still show you guys how you would do it if, if it was um, here. So the guide, the name is assigned to the API key to recognize it, so you can call it something like Coinly. Two different statuses, enabled and disabled. If for some reason you want to use the API key for a short period of time and then turn it off, you can definitely do that. And then permissions, we're only interested in this one being selected. Basic permissions enable you to check your balance, see your orders and trades, basically read only access to your account. Trade and withdraw features do not need to be um, enabled for Coinly to get the information and Coinly is not interested in touching your funds anyway. Uh, a single set of API keys can combine all of these permissions. We strongly encourage you uh, to distinguish between uh, dispositive API keys and read only API keys, which is what you need for Coinly. So once you have that key, you'll have an option to type in or to get your API key, copy and paste that here, and your API secret, which you will copy and paste here. So once you have those keys, make sure to click secure import, and there you have it. That's one way of getting your data into Coinly. So like I said, that is one way of getting your data into Coinly. The other one is using CSV files. So once again, type in the rock, and this time we're gonna click on import from file. And now I'll show you where to get those files from their exchange. So as before, log into your account in the top right corner. You're going to click on settings and then you're going to go into, I believe it's trades. Yes. So here's your um, area trades and you have a download CSV file option. Once you click that, you are going to be requesting a CSV file, which will show up here in this download CSV file area. As you can see, I've already done this before, so I have uh, one for transactions. Um, so that was the trades file. This is the transactions files. S same thing as before. Click download and make sure to have your entire history. So looks like the most you can do right now is six months, depending on when you're watching this video. Maybe you can do a longer period of time, but find a way to get your entire trading history into Coinly. So that might require multiple transaction files and multiple trade files, but make sure to have all your um, transactions and trades into Coinly. Now, one thing you have noticed is that they don't have any withdrawals and deposits. So you can do a few different things. One, you can email them and ask them for this file and sometimes they will provide it. Other thing you can do is manually enter this information by creating your own CSV files. So I've made videos on that. I'll leave a link in the description on how to manually create a file. It shouldn't be too easy unless you have, um, it shouldn't be too, too difficult unless you have a lot of different um, withdrawals and, and deposits, in which case it still won't be difficult. It just might take a little bit of time. So choose whichever option you like, but make sure to get all of your transactions into Coinly. And then once you have those files, simply drag and drop them right here and click import. So once that data is imported, you can go into the transactions area and kind of see underneath the hood what's going on here. Um, Coinly has already done the most difficult part, which is calculated your capital losses and gains. Make sure you've tagged all your staking stuff correctly. So send to pool, send from pool, 
And once that checks out and looks good to you, you can head over into the tax reports area and here you will see your summary for the year. So once you've imported all your data, whether you use the API or the CSV file route, doesn't really matter. Um, you can go into the transactions area and look underneath the hood what's going on here, making sure everything is sitting correctly with you. Also making sure your staking um, stuff has been tagged correctly, sent to pool, sent from pool. And once that checks out, head over into the tax reports area and you can adjust for whichever tax year you'd like. So for 2021, you could see your capital gains, your losses, your costs and expenses, everything is here. And this will be a great way to monitor your crypto tax activity throughout the year to kind of see where you're gonna um, end up. And then once you're happy with that, pick a tax report appropriate for your needs. And as you can see on the screen before you, we have plenty of different tax reports. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also export to TurboTax um, online and desktop versions, and there's videos for that on this channel as well. Uh, we have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia, Germany, Canada, other countries, we have the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can print off and give directly to an accountant and they can combine it with your other tax documentation, or you can invite them to Coinly to set up their accounts uh, firm here with us. And then lastly, check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that brings us to the end of this video. If you need further assistance, a bunch of different resources down below. Firstly, we have the Coinly Help Center with countless different crypto tax related articles. We have a um, forum section. We can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. We have a feedback section. If you have any issues with our software, you can leave them here. And then lastly, a contact section. If you have any questions, we'd love to get back to you. But if you found this video helpful in any way, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time.